Okay, so we got, uh, um, this is a little letter I got from uh, Scout Crafter, John uh, Neugebauer, uh, out of New York. Anyway, uh, we had talked about these before, and these are our, our little S hooks like this. And um, he's proposed some other designs here uh, that uh, are considerably stronger than uh, the standard S hook. So what I thought we'd do is uh, bend up a couple of these here uh, and go ahead and, uh, and he calls it the, uh, let's see, what did he call it? He calls it the, uh, the Tomometer. Um, so uh, this guy here. And pretty good sketch there, John. That's uh, not bad. Look, he's even got the two little screws uh, on either end. Not pretty good. So um, anyway, uh, we're going to bend up a couple of uh, these alternate designs here and, uh, and go ahead and load test them like we did these, just for fun. And um, I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll have a little bit of fun with this. So, so I'm going to get the, some rod, some 3 8 rod, and uh, get one of the benders out, and uh, we'll, we'll bend some of these up. Let's take a look at what he's got here. Let's do, let's do that. Well, we'll bend them up and, um, um, and then we'll try them out. So we'll bend up the three uh, as best we can. Now yeah, let's see, what do I want to do here? I think I want to lay these out so I make the, make the bends the same. Let's do... Four inches. Do like three and a half inches here. Yeah, you know what? I don't like that. I like three. We're gonna do three. Alright, we'll do three. This end, we'll do the same thing. Okay. So we'll just do the acute one first. Now this is, uh, um, I got removable plugs here uh, that go in here, and this one happens to be, it's the same diameter as that, okay? So I'm just gonna put the, uh, the three inch mark right there. And I've already adjusted the fence, so this is parallel basically. So, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna move the camera, because I, I gotta reach over here and, um, uh, and lean on that a little bit, and I'm gonna block it. All right, so I think we're ready. Got my uh, longer uh, pipe on here. Let's see. What do we want? Uh, let's say we'll just do the we'll just do the acute ones first. A uh, little more, a little more, right about there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little a little witness mark on that. That way I bend the other side the same. Go back, put that over. Okay. And oh yeah, we're not gonna leave much there, so okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go. We're going. And this stuff is, you know, it's pretty stiff to bend, uh, especially on a, a tight radius like that. All right, coming up to my mark. Not like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, well, the, the legs are a little long, so... Guess which one we are. <laughs> All right, hey, not bad, huh? Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Okay, for the next one, I think, for the next one, we're just gonna do a, a larger internal radius there. And um, that little guy removes. Well, I can do a couple of things here. So I can slip a little bushing over the top to make that diameter bigger. Um, I've got a, a another pin with a larger diameter, or I can just do a solid piece of that particular diameter. I think we're going to do that. And that line you see there is just a, 
to align um, um, you know, layout lines. Okay, so this is loose right now. Oops, I thought it was loose. Okay, so this is loose. And we're going to just bring that up so it's parallel. And then we're going to lock those down. And these need to be locked down pretty good. Okay, now I kind of overdid it on the leg here, so uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, um, let's go down to two inches on these. Uh, 50 millimeters for our, uh, our metric viewers. You see my little bender thing here. I got a little angle job around there, so it always puts this in a kind of a comfortable position for uh, for bending. Um, all right, I think we're ready. Let's go. into the, uh, the tripod there. Right. Okay, there you go. That's number two. And, I don't know, let's take a look at the drawing. Okay, so I, I looked at the drawing and, you know, these two are really close to being the same. So we're going to do the acute and the, uh, the slightly larger radius here and see what we get. So, I'll set that aside. Let's get, uh, Kind of rigged up here. Like so, and I don't know which one do we want to do first. I don't think we care. Let's do that one since we bent that one first. In my uh, <laughs> my uh, load. Uh, testing table here. You know what, I'm going to get a different sling, I don't like this one. Okay, so we're all set up here. Uh, I got a different sling, and we got the acute angle uh, bit uh, scout crafter hook on here. So I'm going to bring you in close to the, uh, uh, the tomometer here, and uh, we'll get a look at that when we, uh, we load test this. Okay, so I got it kind of set in the bottom of the frame there, because it's going to come up as we we do this all right all right so that's uh 700 can you still see that turn that that way that's about eight almost 800 there Nine hundred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? That was the table moving. All right, it's touching a thousand right now. And okay, so that noise you hear is my my thousand pound table here uh, floating off of the uh, off of the deck. So. Let me, uh, I'm going to change the camera slightly so you guys can, actually, you know what? I'm just going to pan down. There we go. And you can see the hook. 
looking pretty good. So it's got a little bow to the back here, which is what you'd expect from this. But it's handling, it's handling the load, no problem, at a thousand pounds. Um, and frankly, I don't really want to load the table up uh, and take these to failure either. So uh, we're going to call this one good at a thousand pounds easily, um, probably more, uh, considerably more than that. So, okay, so there's, there's a table floating around. <laughs> And we'll, we'll go ahead and lower this down. So I call that a, uh, a successful design uh, improvement there. So that's a pretty studly hook. It's not very cool looking, but <laughs> it's definitely studly. So let's take a look at this one here. And uh, we'll do the same thing. Now, you know, one thing about the different hooks designs is this one I mean, uh, you know, it's not as open, so you can't put a, a bulky thing through it quite as easily, but uh, uh, it obviously performs really well. So, uh, anyway, all right, let's, let's hook this guy up here. And see, there's not a lot of, well, you can see my crappy sling there. Okay. And I expect this one to perform in a similar manner. Get that face in the camera. And, uh, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go for it here. Okay, there's a thousand. And there's my table going again. Okay. And you can see a little curve there. Yeah, we're, you know, it's the same thing. We're right at a thousand pounds there and the table's floating in air. So, uh, cool. Pretty neat stuff. Now let's get my table back where it belongs. <laughs> Okay, so I'd call those two very successful designs considerably stronger than the, uh, the open S hook. And um, um, this is this cold bent uh, 1018 cold rolled steel. So uh, anyway, if you want a stronger hook, there's a, there's a different design for you. Anyway, that was fun. Thanks for watching.